Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to G Bears Off Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And uh, I've had a few quit people question about uh, how things are out here on the uh, the two by six uh, roofing. And uh, as you can see, everything is just fine. And uh, I did go to uh, Home Depot today and uh, picked up the last three sheets that I need to fill in these two foot openings. But uh, I can't be going up on the roof because uh, the winds are up there between 14 and 20 miles per hour. And uh, I don't wanna be up there even handling only a quarter sheet of plywood. Because once I get up there, it's a lot windier than it is down here. You can believe me on that. All right, so that being said, um, I did walk around the compound today and I checked everything and uh, I didn't have anything, any problems whatsoever, any damage. Everything up at the, uh, the water tank is just fine. Everything in the garden shack is just fine. Everything inside the containers is fine. Nothing even fell off shelves in there. Uh, that, that kind of amazed me. But uh, yeah, the cabin withstood it just fine. No, no uh, cracks in the foundation. Um, no cracks in any of the wood. It was a shaker. And uh, now I'm hearing that uh, they're saying that this could be a uh, a preempt to uh, possibly a 9.0. Well, like I responded, I have to practice my levitation and air floating because uh, uh, if there is one, there ain't anything I can do about it. That's one of those things they call an act of God. It just happens and there ain't nothing a human can do about it. If there was, boy, that would be one rich guy. All right. As you can see, everything down there at the garden house just fine. I want to get on to uh, off-grid electricity 101, part two. All right, this won't take very long. Uh, what I want to do is uh, uh, make sure I cover this part. Number one, whenever hooking up any type of LED screen, controllers, anything of that nature, even if there's no LED on it, doesn't matter if it's a controller, if it's electronics, and you are gonna be hooking it up to your solar system. The first thing you connect is the batteries, not the solar panels, not the wind turbine. The first thing you connect is the batteries, okay? That's very important. You don't wanna damage your control unit. So always hook up your batteries first, okay? Um, on, a, on the turbine, same thing. Yes, I, 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 I did cover all of that. So that was uh, something I overlooked yesterday and uh, well, I was running pretty long on the video. So I wanted to make sure I got that to you today uh, because I know people are out there looking to put systems like this together. And uh, th that's a very important thing. Now, you'll notice I have a lot of these little 12 volt um, computer fans laying around and uh, they're all connected and below other electronics. That's another thing, keeping your electronics cool. Okay, this is a electromagnetic switch and when it kicks on, Electricity is holding a, an electromagnet in contact with an, another a magnet so that they are locked together and making a connection across the poles. Okay, so the, when, when that happens, this thing generates heat and it does get pretty hot. It's not hot now because it hasn't been running, but it does get pretty hot. So I have a fan down here and I have it tied into the same um, terminals positive and negative, and uh, you see that it's on the load side here, positive and negative, and they didn't color code these. Uh, those, those are the ones that came with the uh, unit, but uh, they are marked positive and negative, so you know what they are, and they're only a couple inches short, so you don't have to trace them to see where they go. All right, 
So when that t kicks on, this fan will kick on and blow cool air over that and keep it cool. I also have one here that runs all the time on the uh, PMA or the turbine because you see right now it's producing electricity and this rectifier would get pretty warm. As a matter of fact, I'm touching it right now. I would say it's probably a good 95 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So this little fan is blowing air across that to cool it down. All right, I also have one on the wall there that's tied into the load side of that uh, controller. And that's one of the Harbor Freight controllers. Um, that's on a 100 watt panel system that right now is not in the sun. The, the, that's a, oh, excuse me. I hope I didn't ruin anything there. Well, let's see. No, it looks like I'm still running. All right, so anyway, um, what, what that uh, does is when the power gets up to, to it, that'll turn on and it blow, blows cool air on my um, inverter here because my inverter only has one fan in the back. The new ones now come with a fan right here on the top. So I like to add a little bit of cooling to this thing. Also, I have one here on the wall that is also tied in to the same unit. So when it comes on, both those fans come on and uh, this one pulls hot air out of the room. That one blows cool air down onto the uh, inverter. Those are some important things. Keeping your equipment cool, uh, making sure always connect the battery first. Okay, that's a very important thing. Connect battery first. Remember that. And when taking things apart, disconnect the battery last. You've got to you've got to do do that stuff. That's really important. If you check your instructions on all your electronics, you'll find that it does say somewhere in there: um, connect battery first, disconnect battery last. All right. So with that being said, I guess we can move on out of here. Call this one a day, and I'm going to go inside and. Uh, uh, Sit down underneath my fan, have a ice cold bottle of water, and uh, rehydrate myself here. And uh, it's, it was a hot one today. It was 103 on the porch, and 7% uh, humidity. Um, I would take you down to the garden house, but I don't want to get too much involved in this video. The girls are doing fine. I filled their little um, pool up in there so they could cool off in the pool, and they like standing in that water. But right now. They're down, on, down by the door side where it's the, the shadiest area right now. And they get a nice little breeze going. That's cooling them off. All right. G-Bay, I remind you, give me a thumbs up down there, please. Don't forget to click share and share my videos with your friends. And uh, um, let's hope that the earthquake thing is over with now. And uh, the winds maybe die down tomorrow and I can get back to work and finish that roof up. G-Bear, signing off.